I think one of the most important parts of YouTube, aside from obviously creating content and growing an amazing audience, is your content creation flow, or I guess you could say your YouTube productivity and how you're able to organize the things that you need to do and make that easily and accessible. Today, we're gonna to check out Notion. Okay, so what you're looking at is my half finished Notion dashboard. I'm sure if you're surfing YouTube at the moment for Notion videos, this is probably one of the ones that don't look the prettiest, but it works. We're just gonna focus on the Sure Social one today. So let's go ahead and click into that. Now, I would like to call this my Sure Social YouTube, I guess, hub. This is where everything that is related to this channel sits, and this is how I organize it. Okay, starting off at the very, very top, you've obviously got the title, and I I've got, I guess, four different types of content that I like to focus on. Five if you include my website and blog posts, but that we're focusing on at the moment. The main one is YouTube, but then we move on to Instagram, which is like Instagram posts. And then we've got TikTok slash reels slash shorts. And then we've got Twitter. My Twitter is definitely lacking. My YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok slash shorts are probably my main focus at the moment anyway. And then I've got a important stuff uh, page that just has essentially everything that is needed and is accessible at the click of a button. So if I click into this, I highly recommend setting up something like this. So I've got all my important links, uh, all of my like affiliates or referrals, my social media, my Amazon associate links, affiliate pages, none. And then I've got my automated email list sort of set up as well. So that's just something I like to have at the click of a button. And then I've also got my YouTube video description in here as well. So this is basically what everyone sees in my YouTube description. Let's head back to the Shore Social Hub. All right, now, Right underneath the top section here is basically this little table that just allows me at a glance to see what day I need to do essentially what task. So Sundays and Wednesdays is when I go ahead and upload an Instagram post. This is all scheduled ahead of time for me and I will put a YouTube video on the screen now if you want to work out and learn how you can actually schedule Instagram posts ahead of time so you don't have to stress. I essentially schedule these like a month or two in advance so I can literally kick back and not have to stress about Instagram which is awesome. Okay every Monday I go ahead and upload a new YouTube video and Tuesdays and Fridays are like a new TikTok slash reel slash shorts. Obviously you can't really schedule TikToks or Instagram reels, but I can schedule YouTube shorts. So they are already scheduled ahead of time. Now we move down to the most important part, the content planner or the, the thing that I call the content planner. So this is in calendar format just to allow me to see a visual representation of what is done, when it's done and if it's completed. So as you can see, I've got my Instagram. So I upload an Instagram quote, photo and tip in that sort of like layout. And as you can see, if I skip through to February and then I skip through to March, that's done. Perfect. I don't need to, don't need to stress about that. Let's go back to January. So today our new Instagram post would have been scheduled. Tomorrow I've got a new YouTube video coming out and then I have to upload a TikTok and reel on the 25th. My Instagram post is already ready to go. And then again on Friday, I'll have to do a TikTok and reel, but I can see from from this glance down that the type of post or the type of content is an Instagram post or a YouTube video or a TikTok reel. It's on the account Sure Social and then it's completed. So for here, this is a video edited and rendered because that's what it is. It hasn't been uploaded yet. Now I do have a different view for this. So if I go ahead and want to check out YouTube and click into YouTube, then we've got a board that's set up. So this is essentially where I put videos and ideas that I have, and then I move them to here when, once the script is written. Once it's recorded, it goes here. Once it's edited and rendered, it goes here, uploaded here, blah, blah, blah. This makes it easier for me to understand where I'm at with a video, have time to sit down and maybe write a script, I can. So something new that I've updated recently is adding in templates. So if I wanna go ahead and make a new YouTube video, I can go ahead and click new video, new Instagram post, new TikTok or reel and new tweet. So if I click new video, cause we're in the YouTube section, it's gonna go ahead and load and it'll actually load up this section for me. So SEO, title, description, tags and thumbnail. And then this part here is just like a reminder. So 
So when I'm going to go ahead and write my script and I need to write the hook, introduction has the same and then down to content and then call to action. Yeah, so essentially that just allows me to plan out my video a lot easier compared to what I was doing before, which was like writing, like physically writing things down. If you do have any tips for me, I'm more than happy to uh, check out the comment section below and see how you guys manage your own notion and things like that. Like I mentioned at the very start of the video, if you are wanting to schedule Instagram posts and have like a month or two of Instagram posts ahead of time, and I will go through a video with you on how to do that for free.